What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the current situation in the jailbreak community and of course about the chair jailbreak. Coolstar has posted a lot of statements in the last couple of days and the situation is actually quite confusing. So do keep in mind this video will contain a little bit of drama. So be prepared for that. This video is brought to you by Altphone iOS Location Changer which allows you to basically change the location on your device and set the starting point and destination point and so on directly from your computer. You can basically change the location for any application that uses the location on your device, games and weather application, dating apps and so on. You can also play with the speed and moves and so on and of course the application allows you to change the location to go with single point movement, multi point movement and even joystick movement. You can check the application out in the link below, it's called Altphone iOS Location Changer and it's available for both Windows and Mac OS. So a lot of things are going on currently in the jailbreak community. Coolstar posted a lot of stuff, a lot of other developers posted replies to what Coolstar said, but essentially it boils down to the fact that Coolstar says Chair Jailbreak is currently on hold because of LibHooker, because tweaks would not be compatible with LibHooker if developers do not do something about it. Essentially what they say is that developers are refusing to update their tweaks or to conform to Coolstar's new standard, which is basically updating the tweaks to work with LibHooker, and as such no tweak would be compatible with the Chair Jailbreak without those updates. Yesterday Coolstar posted it, quote, so an update on the iOS 15 jailbreak. It looks like it required months of delay and dragging it into the public for the popular tweak build system to get updated. By popular tweak build system, they mean Theos, but since that's going to actually start. They also posted this, quote, libhooker update for iOS 15 will be worked on after that to enable tweaks on iOS 15 without breaking code signing and half of the OS in the process. That should clear up the last remaining major obstacle for Chayot, since yes, the jailbreak was close to completion last month. And from here things started to unravel pretty badly. Now there are developers in the community who believe that there are better options than updating tweaks to work with libhooker. Some people propose that we should actually go with the rootless jailbreak model of fixing the tweaks and other people said that well why they should update the tweaks only for Coolstar and stuff like that. And if they do what happens with the tweaks that are no longer maintained those would not be compatible. So essentially many developers were accusing Coolstar of being lazy and trying to find the easy way out, which is basically blaming developers for not updating their tweaks, while other developers said that it's actually Coolstar's fault for not trying to find a better way, which doesn't require breaking the compatibility with older tweaks, which may or may not be doable. That's up for debate. Anyways, after that Coolstar basically announced that they are done with this project for a while because their mental health has degraded due to a lot of back and forth with the community, and a lot of people who, let's say that weren't exactly very kind towards Coolstar and sent a lot of troublesome messages and as such they decided that their mental health is much more important and decided to take a break. So for now we have no idea what's currently going on with Chayot, if they're going to work on it anymore or not, because the community was actually very rude towards Coolstar, especially by sending some inappropriate pictures to them via Discord, which is definitely not something great. But for now we know that as Coolstar says in here, the major obstacle currently is to get tweaks to work with iOS 15. And for that to happen one of the options would be for tweak developers to update their tweaks so that they don't use substitute APIs which are now obsolete, at least for libhooker. But a lot of developers are not very happy with that idea. Anyways, Uncover for the moment still uses substitute and apparently there was an update for substitute on iOS 15 but it was taken down a couple of hours after that because it broke everything else like iOS 14 and 13 and so on, so people who updated to it had to downgrade back. But yeah, it shows signs that the substitute is currently worked on for iOS 15 and 16 by Sam Bingner and it can hint for a possible uncover update, though we have no confirmation for that. However, yes, this is currently where we are at. We need tweaks to work with iOS 15 and in terms of Chayot, that's up to developers to update their tweaks in order to work with LibHooker. Whether that's the best option or not, it's up for debate. A lot of developers in the community stated their point of view on this. Some people agree with Coolstar, some people don't agree with Coolstar and call them lazy. It is what it is, iOS 15 is indeed a challenge and until somebody else comes with a better plan, I guess updating tweaks might be the solution in the end. Anyways, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreak news and peace out.